Welcome back, Reception. Thank you for joining me for the second part of our literacy lesson today. In lesson one, we looked at how to draw a story map. Now, I hope that you've been able to draw some pictures of our story, Sweet Potato, to help you to retell the story. Now, I'm going to show you how we use our story map to retell the story of Sweet Potato. And after that, I'll give you some ideas for some other activities that you could try at home. Let's start. Here's our story map. Sweet Potato. One night in the supermarket, Everyone was sleeping and it was very quiet. Can you pretend to be sleeping, Reception? <gasps> shh, oh, shh. Good job. Suddenly, there was a big crash. Can you make a big crash noise? Crash! An evil pea was on the loose. He was causing trouble, big trouble. He stuck the carrot to the conveyor belt. Can you do that? Can you pretend to be stuck to a conveyor belt? He drew on the broccoli's face. And he wrapped up the poor cucumber with toilet roll. Oh, dear me. Could anybody help these vegetables in distress? <gasps> yes, Sweet Potato to the rescue. Can you do that? Can you pretend to be Sweet Potato? Sweet Potato to the rescue. Good job. He used his super speed. He used his Super strength. He used a bowl of warm soapy water. But nothing could stop the evil bee. Sweet Potato went to search for the evil bee to try to stop him. He looked by the cakes. He looked by the cheese. He even looked by the tins. Kapow! The evil bee pushed Sweet Potato down, 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 into the icy depths of the freezer. Everybody gasped. <gasps> Can you gasp in astonishment? <gasps> Good job. Could anybody save Sweet Potato and the vegetables? Or was this the end of our superhero? Dun, dun, dun. But Sweet Potato didn't give up. He chased after the evil pea. But the evil pea nearly turned Sweet Potato into mashed potato. Oh no! But finally, at the end, Sweet Potato had a plan and he pushed the evil bee into a wibbly wobbly jelly and all the vegetables in the supermarket were safe again. The end. So reception, now I've shown you how we use our story map to tell a story you can have a go at doing this at home. You can use your pictures or you can use the story map that I've sent your helper. Once you've done that, I've got two more ideas that you could try. You could try to retell the story again to an audience. You could use some people you live with as the audience or 
you could use your favourite teddies. You could line your teddies up in a row and you could perform the story to your teddies. You could even find your favourite story at home and you could create a new story map about your favourite story. Or you could do a story that you know really well, like the three little pigs or Goldilocks and the three bears. Now have a great time doing your activities and remember to ask your helper to email us all the work that you've been doing. We can't wait to see your work. Bye bye.